Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. They're watching you online today, whatever it is that you're posting out there. Um, this could be somebody actually who's actually in a commitment with someone else. Somebody who chose someone else over you, put you out in the cold. But they can't stop thinking about you, Collective. This is somebody who's in love with you, but hiding it, trying their best to hide it. I kind of get the sense that this person's going to have to kind of close themselves away in a room by themselves today um, to watch you, okay? They could very well be with somebody else. And you're, uh, this is somebody who definitely left you out in the cold. They've been watching you struggle with this, and now they're very emotional today, okay? Yeah, you've been wanting your justice, and this person knows they, you know what, here's the thing. One of the reasons why this person is an emotional mess today is because they realize they did you dirty, collective. They wronged you. Whatever was done to you was completely unfair, and they're feeling guilty, Guilty, okay, you could be dealing with um, a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you could be a, Lib a Libra. I've also got Virgo out here. Look at them. Look at They're feeling very sluggish. They're feeling guilty, man. This is shameful what was done to you. I feel like uh, this person treated you like you were garbage. They really did. They put you out in the cold in the past. Um, watched you struggle with this, watched you suffer. Um, I feel like they knew you were brokenhearted. They knew you needed answers. You needed some justice in this, and they never gave you your justice. Um, they can't stop thinking about it. They're feeling very emotional today because, you know what, honestly, their thoughts are just on you. I feel like they are with someone else, this Queen of Pentacles energy in a commitment with someone else. She knows about you as well. Even if you don't know her, she knows about you. She, she knows about the situation. And she's been feeling like she's been competing with you or she's, she's tried to compete with you. Yeah, now this person is realizing, see, they're, they're watching you online, watching what you're doing. You could um, have your own platform or you could have an online business or something like that. They're, they could be watching you work. They're thinking about how you've transformed your life. How did you pick yourself back up? This person realized they left you in the worst possible situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I feel like you were in a vulnerable situation when they broke your heart to begin with. And I feel like it really shocked you um, that anybody could treat somebody the way they treated you. Okay? It was shocking to you. Like, how could they have done this to me? You know? Um, they underestimated you. This person could have um, judged you for materialistic reasons. If you were in a financial struggle at the time, or I feel a vulnerability energy off of you. So either you had come from another heartbreaking situation, or you were really struggling to get on your feet. Um, you know, something like that. And they just, they, they thought of you as nothing. I feel like they really underestimated you here, and you turned out to be the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Someone who's transformed. Someone who has become very successful and abundant, okay? Um, yeah, you're like on top of your game right now. And this is, and you're happy without them. You're happier without them being single. And uh, it just looks like you've got everything that you could possibly want here. The only thing you don't have is a soulmate at your side. Uh, you've got nine pentacles just for you. The most you can have in the deck is ten. And you're single, but you're really happy. You're happy being single, okay? You're happy being single. You're happy without this person. You've done better since they left you, okay? 
for real. This is these are the things that they're thinking about. You know, um, they could have misjudged you, right? They could have thought, well, you had nothing at the time. So they went to where they thought the grass was greener with this Queen of Pentacles. And she may have a lot of money. She definitely has some kind of commitment from this person. But this is who they chose over you. But let now look at you. You've got eight more Pentacles than this person does, than the one that they chose over you. You know, um, yeah, they, now they're thinking, oh, I made the wrong choice, right? I made the wrong choice. Um, the collective that I turned away was actually going to be more abundant than the greener grass that I, that I thought was over here. Yeah, your grass is green. Look, you got a full on lush garden here. Look at this green grass. See, they thought it was green. They thought they went to where the grass was greener, but all it was was green tile. <laughs> it was astroturf. It kind of looks like astroturf, okay? Like, like the artificial lawn. That's what this person had. Artificial lawn. They were artificial. You're authentic. And you grew your garden from the ground up, probably starting from nothing. You took nothing and you turned it into... Um, um, what am I thinking of? You turned it into like a, a profit or something like that. You turned it into a success. You transformed everything in your life right before their very eyes that they can't stop thinking about this now. They chose the wrong person, but they chose this other person for materialistic reasons. If they were going to judge you in that way, collective, they didn't deserve to have you in their life in the first place. I'm sorry, but it's true. It is, and now they're realizing that too. Okay, this person could have gained a lot of weight, especially around their, their belly, their gut area. This could be um, aging this person prematurely as well. They're moping around today as well. This person just wants to be alone to think about you. You know, I feel like they're in this, this energy of kind of like self-pity, all right? But, but they, it's only because they did this to themselves, you know? So, yeah, they, they don't even want to be around this other person. I don't even know where their other person is, honestly. Yet, yeah, look, I, I feel like they want to change this. They want to, they want to change their mind now, collective, okay? Because they can see now that your grass is greener. They've been watching you. They've been learning about you. They've been falling in love with you. This person's in love. They are. They're an emotional mess. You're their wish. And I feel like they really want to heal this with you. You could be in the public eye. You could, be, um, you could have an online job or an online business that's booming, that's very successful. You know, if you're a spiritualist and you have your own public speaking platform, um, you've got a big following. People are loving you. You're attracting a lot of attention to yourself. Um, you could even work like a split shift. You could work in the morning, take the afternoon off, and work through the evening. Or um, you could have a couple of different sources of income here, a day job and maybe a night project. They're watching your success, and they're watching you grow. And I feel like whatever it is that you're doing here, you're spiritually led as well. This is you, like, as a light worker um, on your path, right? Um, in your, in your um, divine mission, okay? And it could be bringing you a fortune. There, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, they may see this also as this is a big door that's closing shut on them. Maybe they're thinking you're their wish, but they can't come back in. You could be a Virgo, an Aquarius, a Libra. Maybe a Gemini. 
You know, and I feel like this person's been watching you, right? They've been, they've been studying what you're doing, studying what you're talking about. If you're out here talking about this connection, if it's a twin flame soulmate connection, they're learning all of this. They're realizing just how, just how deep the consequences are for their bad decisions and the way that they judged you. They're realizing that you're a light worker, a divine being. And that would make them possibly a divine being. And um, yeah, they're realizing all that they truly missed out on. That there was way more to you than what met the eye. Okay? And um, yeah, now you, you're blocking this person out. You really were the holy grail cup of love. This person is realizing it. You're a divine feminine. You've been, you've been showing nothing but integrity as well. You haven't been in anybody else's business. You've been just working on you, growing, um, growing the, the very green garden that you're growing, right? All of the success. You haven't spoken to them. You've got your boundaries up. You were a person who knew your value before they could see your value. Okay. Now they're seeing exactly what you can accomplish. They're seeing now exactly what you're made of, collective. You know, and I feel like you've been tough as nails. You could be a Leo. You could be a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra. They thought they were going to where the grass was greener. It ended up being artificial turf. And but your garden is growing strong and it's going to continue to grow. This is somebody this is something that could take you to a fortune. It could bring you to um, generational wealth. Yeah, see, I feel like this person they they're trying to choose a partner looking at how much they can get from them, okay? They, they're they very materialistic, and they're still looking at your abundance. And this person is in a commitment with someone else right now. We've got the king to the queen of pentacles. I feel like they got married to someone else, you know, and they're looking. All they can do is focus on you and your beauty. There's something about your beauty as well. But you're amazing, this, this person. This person is absolutely fascinated with how far you've come, how you've picked yourself back up from where they left you because they know they realize how much they hurt you. You picked yourself up from that, and you grew and grew and grew, okay? And they're realizing, like, they're wondering, how did you accomplish this? How did you go from the Five of Pentacles to the nine of pentacles all on your own. This person is absolutely amazed and they can't take their eyes off of you. They just want to they just want to be alone today so that they can watch you and watch what you're doing and learn whatever it is that you're talking about on social media, on a platform. They're learning from you. They this person is absolutely fascinated with everything you know and everything you're doing. Whereas before, they turned you away like you were nothing and like you weren't enough. Yeah, you know, you could be dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, heavy Virgo energy, maybe Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, and they, they juggled you. Now they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do to come back in. This person could even be having some financial issues right now. The two of pentacles is robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like they may not have enough to pay for their bills, their rent. They could be having some financial struggles. They definitely want to come in and apologize to you. You know, I feel like um, this situation is over. They, they don't want it over. They want another chance. But here's the thing. They're with someone else with, who has artificial turf. That's what they chose. This person's feeling like a fool. I'm telling you. 
They're feeling like a damn fool out here, collective. So today, this person cannot stop watching you. They can't stop studying you. They don't want to have anything to do, really, with the person they chose over you. They only are obsessing about you today, wanting to get back together. I'm telling you, wanting to come in with that love offer, an apology, feeling like, feeling like a, feeling like a simp. That's how they're going to be feeling today. Yeah, because you're their empress. Look, they, they passed up a divine feminine earth angel empress. Yep. I feel like this person is also studying you, watching everything that you're putting on the internet to see if you um, have anyone new coming in. They're realizing, though, that their selfish ways, right? Their selfish ways cost them an earth angel there were consequences for misjudging you okay and this person is an emotional mess over this today they're they're feeling very ashamed of themselves their selfishness their um their ego the way they misjudged you it's all coming back on this person now it all backfired because they ended up with the Queen of Pentacles who has fake grass, okay? It's not even real grass. I mean, look. It's like painted on the ground. And here you are. They missed out on not, not just their Earth Angel, which they're never going to find another you. They'd have to get four queens to equal one of you. Okay, they missed out on their Earth Angel. They're divine feminine, but they also missed out on everything that they could have been growing with you. And they missed out on their ultimate wish fulfillment as well. Yeah, and you're moving on. You have the victory in all of this. You know, the, the one who was put down, um, maybe even blamed, ridiculed, Right? Misjudged. Okay? Um, the one they thought they were better than. You're the one having this shining, glorious victory. Okay? And they are being brought down. Um, ten, of, ten of swords. You're starting your new cycle in the ten of, or sorry, the nine of pentacles and the chariot in this beautiful empress energy, empress and emperor energy. And they're starting the new cycle in the Ten of Swords, feeling like a damn fool. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Pisces. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Yeah, they could have had it all. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you had only... They, they, uh, if they only had given you a decent, solid offer. You know, you've already got nine. They needed to give you that pentacle, the one pentacle you're missing here. Okay, a legitimate offer, um, something loyal and dedicated. Okay, had they stayed with you, collective, had they been loyal to you and believed in you, they could have had the Ten of Pentacles, but they chose this person over here with the one and artificial turf. That's what they got. That's what they got. And they feel like a complete fool, okay? Oh. So they're going to be up all night tonight thinking about that one pentacle that they should have given you. That's it, right there. This one pentacle... All they had to do was give you one solid, stable offer. All they had to do was believe in you and see your value and have some respect and stay with you and build with you. And they could have had it all. They're going to be up all night thinking about this. You know, and spirit, spirit led them to, towards this. The spirit has been wanting this person to give you a legitimate offer. 
you know, especially if this is a divine masculine, but this person was very egotistical. They were all up in their ego and they cut you all cold like you were nothing. So they're under judgment for this and in a whole lot of regret today. Okay? In a whole lot of regret. You know, they're going to be sitting in the sad, crying, mopey energy all day long thinking about the mistake that they made and knowing all they had to do was make you a legitimate offer and be there for you and choose you. That's all they needed to do was choose you. They, they're seeing that they lost everything here and they're realizing just how deep this connection is. They lost their destiny. They lost their destiny. What did I say about them feeling ashamed? It's the first card out in, out of this deck. Feeling ashamed, unworthy, humiliated. Here's that um, Queen of Pentacles here that they chose over you. Following behind them. It's Valentine's Day. Why are you crying in a corner? <laughs> right? Why are you moping around the house? Hermit energy. Why are you locking yourself in a room to look at your computer? I know you're thinking about the collective. I know you're crying over the collective. Yeah, they're under a lot of pressure. They're feeling a lot of pressure. There's, it's, a, it's a tense situation today between this person and who they chose over you because your person doesn't want them anymore. And they chose them for all the wrong reasons. Okay, they could have chose this Queen of Pentacles for how it looked in the community. For how much money she, they thought she had. You know, for the clothes that she wore, because they were nicer than yours. For the job that she had, because it was flashier than yours. You know, they chose her for all the wrong reasons. They didn't stop to think that maybe they should choose a love partner, um, you know, uh, Judge that person by the way they love. Choose love. Well, you know, in a, in a relationship, you should choose someone you love. Not pick the person by how much money they have or don't have. You know, this person didn't believe in you at all. And now they're going to, today, today, tonight, they're going to be crying over you. Very overwhelmed with everything that they're learning now, everything that they're realizing. They're very overwhelmed with this. Yeah, and look at how they treated you. Yeah, oh, if only they could turn back the, ha the hands of time, right? I feel like this person left you, they left you in a vulnerable state, feeling confused, embarrassed, used, talked about. I feel like you, um, you had to go through some public shame or public humiliation. A lot of people were talking about this. You ended up taking the blame. I mean, they, what they did to you was brutal. This card out of all of my decks, this is the one card that triggers me. Okay, they left you confused like what, what just happened. I've been used. They left you feel violated embarrassed, ashamed, now they're ashamed. And now look, look at how the tables have turned. Like I said, you're no longer in that situation anymore. You're coming out having a victory. That's this. That's the same as this. You're no longer in that situation or that energy anymore. You're coming out whole, happy, satisfied, gratified, Abundant and independent, okay? Now this person is feeling the shame. Now they're feeling ashamed. Yep, and they're feeling powerless. Powerless to do anything to change this because they got married, I feel, to um, this Queen of Pentacles. 
they're irritated by their own decisions, irritated by being with this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, they don't want to be there anymore. They're feeling hopeless because this Two of Cups, this soulmate connection is going down. It's ending. <clears throat> this is a cycle that's closing out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're moving on like a pony, leaving them behind like a ponytail in the wind. Yep, you're leaving them behind. So now I feel like shame, panic, wanting to be left alone. They don't want to have anything to do with this other person anymore today. Like, I, they really don't want to have anything to do with whoever they chose over you today. They only want to think about you. Yep. And see, they're, dis they're feeling discouraged, disheartened, okay, because they can't keep up with you. You're moving forward too fast, and they're just longing for you. They're longing for you today, collective. Longing, crying, very emotional. They're, I feel like they're angry at themselves. They're feeling, they're shamed. I mean, it's just shameful energy, okay? And, um, yeah, they're realizing here that they should have believed in you. And you're just rocking it out here. So keep doing what you're doing today. You have a fabulous day today. I think you are with the divine today if you're single. And you're happy. You're happy. You know you're proud of yourself. You're accomplished. You're masterful at what you do. You're having a major victory out here. I feel like you're showing a lot of gratitude to the divine. I bought, um, I bought my spirit guides and, and, and God and Jesus and, you know, the divine, um, a dozen roses. Yes, I did. And I'm taking them out tonight later as well. So, yeah, I mean, you know, celebrate with the divine because they're the ones who were there for you. This person wasn't. Sorry about that, everyone. So, yeah, you know, just um, you're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day your own way. Okay, you're going to be pampering yourself. You'll probably get a lot of pampering and attention from a lot of other people, too. I've noticed that. Um, so, yeah. Um, and this person over here, they're going to be longing for you as you move forward with your life.